the circle of life, where there's, so I think for a lot of us, when we're talking about having animals as well as doing anything within the world of permaculture, we wish to surround ourselves with a plethora of life. This is part of the quality of life that we seek. And, um, and I have to point out that wherever there is a plethora of life, there has to be a plethora of death. There's no way around it. So um, uh, I wanna, I'm a powerful advocate for the respectful harvest. And then something where I kind of, I, I have some anger issues perhaps, and that is that um, in communities, we're all supposed to be equal. We're all supposed to be the same. For all, you know, we're going to make decisions about things and stuff like that. And I, and I, in our society, we don't allow the caste system of any kind, which of course you're born into it. That's that's not cool. But I, 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 I do believe that if you're in a community, I like the idea that whoever it is that harvests the animals is, you know, up a notch, because it's. It's easy for everybody to just say, I'm not doing that. That's not a thing I'm going to do. That's not who I am. I'm not that kind of person. You know, they'll eat the meat gladly, but they won't do that. And I kind of feel like there's a problem there. And so I feel like either the community as a whole, universally, 100%, has a greater respect for whoever does that job, or... Everybody in the community needs to do it respectfully and without a bunch of fucking whining. And so I think you need to own your shit. If you're going to eat meat, this is part of it. And there's a couple of different ways to do it. You either have great respect and admiration at all times, forever and ever, for whoever does it, or you do it yourself. Consider for a moment being put into a cage where your only food is moldy Purina human chow. Everything your human needs for growth and reproduction, now with ground up minerals. And your only drink is dirty water. And just out of reach of your cage is fresh strawberries. This picture just wouldn't be complete without a farmer saying, I must be taking good care of these humans because most of them haven't died. This is the way that nearly everybody cares for chickens. Everybody who is somehow spiritually enlightened, everybody who loves animals, everybody who thinks that they're doing an amazingly excellent job of caring for their chickens when I believe they're fucking torturing these poor things. I have a rule with interns, if they wouldn't drink the water in the, in the chicken trough, if you put it into a glass and they looked at it and went, there's something wrong with it, then the chicken shouldn't be getting it. I like that. I like that. Or, you know, at any given time, if somebody's like, okay, I you know, took care of the chickens this morning, and it's like, okay, let's take a glass out there, and let's get a, let's get a glass bowl, and you're going to drink it. You know? And it's like, uh, uh, I, I think that's not a not. bad idea. Maybe not make them drink it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think if they know they're going to drink it, I think it's going to end up being really clean. Now, granted, chickens are kind of stupid. They like, they're like, they like, oh, look, there's some water. I'm going to back up to that. <laughs> Drop a greaser in there, because I know. Because Steve, the chicken over there, he's such a dumbass. <laughs> so it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I would like to think chickens are being comedians when they do that, but I know that they're just that fucking stupid. <laughs> so, what do you think of those chicken nipples that they, when they, they sell those things and I've used them, again, to keep up up that are super cheap, but you know, they just, they, you just tap them up, so you just put them on the bottom of a bucket and stuff, and they just do it that way. You, you just spill a little bit more water that way. But you spill more water, but it's cleaner. Yeah. It's just so much cleaner, which I think is an important thing for the chickens. I, I, think, I think those are a, a great way to fly, and there's a, a lot of variations on those. <clears throat> so I wrote in, I, I, I was, packed around to a lot of different sites. I got invited to all kinds of gardens, all kinds of farms and stuff like that. And then they're like, you know, they got their chickens set up. Where, Come look at our chicken set up. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it amazing what we're doing with our chickens? And then I would start. Okay, you know you got chickens standing on four inches of chicken shit there, right? They got no greens. And they're like, oh, you know what? I just remembered. We want you to leave. <laughs> so I never got a chance to say my whole thing. How much I hate what you're doing here and you're asking for praise. 
So, um, so I wrote an article, and oh, did I get hate mail. And um, uh, so, and then uh, from the article, I've done a whole bunch of other stuff. And, and so it seems like certain people like to hear the messages that I have to say. Most people want me to shut the fuck up. So, um, and, and I got, in the article, there's a lot of details, and I've even kind of copied and pasted in some of the hate from the first few weeks of, of when the article went up. Uh, and I haven't added anything to it since then. Most people seem to, you know, save that for my respectful chicken harvest video. I've read that whole article, and I, and I found it really not controversial to me. I, mean, I don't know. I, it didn't seem like there was anything offensive in there. I, I, I me either! It's because people get offended if they're obviously practicing, practicing those things. I, I think that there's a lot of people where they're already raising chickens, and they don't want to hear somebody suggest that what they're doing falls short in any way. So... Chickens should drink dirty water. Chickens should love the stuff that says chicken food on it. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about raising chickens, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.